Shabbat Shalom. I'm Lisa Lisser, and I'm a longtime lay leader here in Greater Metro West, New Jersey. I also teach adult Jewish learning through the Melton School of the JCC of Metro West. My thanks go out to Dove Ben Shimon, our CEO, and Bob Lichtman, our Chief Jewish Learning Officer, for creating this weekly bit of Torah and inviting me to share my thoughts. So here goes. This week's Parsha, known as Tzav, begins as follows. And the Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, Tzav, command Aaron and his sons. Immediately, the usual formula is disrupted. Usually, when God speaks to Moshe, he says, say to Aaron, or say to the people, not command them. Why is the formula different here? Why does God say Tzav? Let's look back. Just a few weeks ago, we read about the sin of the golden calf. Aaron was complicit in that breach, a grave assault on the most basic of the Ten Commandments, you shall have no other gods beside me. But that's exactly what Aaron did. Perhaps this command in this parsha is both a reminder and an opportunity. An opportunity for Aaron to do his teshuva. Remember, Aaron, don't forget, you acknowledged your responsibility, you asked for forgiveness, now's your chance your opportunity to make a different choice. So do it, tzav. The fact is, being commanded is both hard and easy. It's hard because it feels coercive, but it's easy because having commandments gives us a structure and having structure provides order to our lives. That's what the commandments are, order. Order gives us a space for freedom. Now that we know what our choices are, we have the freedom to choose. Perkei Avot tells us all is foreseen, but freedom of choice is given. Life is all about the choices we make. Again, we are advised in Perkei Avot, the world is judged with goodness, but all depends on the majority of one's deeds. This teaches that we are not inevitably condemned by our wrong choices. It's about how we respond and how we do it the next time. Now, not all of our choices are as big as the choice between God and idols. Sometimes it's as simple as taking out the garbage. In the first lines of our Parsha, Aaron and his sons are instructed to let the Ola sacrifice burn all night. And when it is done, Leviticus chapter 6, verses 3 to 4 tells us the priest shall take away the ashes lay them beside the altar, change his clothes, and take the ashes outside of the camp. The high priest must take out the garbage. It's a simple command. Some might say small. Why would God give the high priest this particular mitzvah? It reminds me of something my friend Harriet Rosetto teaches in her book, Sacred Housekeeping. She tells us, make your bed. Making your bed gives you a fresh start. It creates a space that's more welcoming for return and more organized. And it's simple. It's a small step. Make your bed may not be a biblical commandment, but it's not so different from take out the garbage. And maybe when we're learning to follow commandments, we need to start small. Starting small is a way for us to begin the process, the process of tshuva. These are all lessons that are embedded in the simple commandment to Aaron and his sons, take out the garbage. When God said, Sav, command Aaron, God was really giving Aaron a gift. He was showing Aaron where to start on the road to return. So let's look at commandment as a gift, a how-to guide with both big and small steps to help us live more meaningful and intentional lives. Shabbat Shalom.